Hey there, we're in Oklahoma City at the new construction of Haunt Appliance Warehouse. I'm with one of the owners, Lee Sherman. You're going to be getting to know Lee very well on Homescapes over the next year. He's going to be giving us great advice as well as appliance tips. Well, we're really excited to be here at our new location. We're on West Reno, right across from the water park. Of course, our temporary store is open about three doors down. Right. But we've come a long way in the last three months. Since the last time I was here, because this was all dirt. That's right. And look at us now. We're really excited. We think we'll be in the first of June. Let's go check it out. All right. All right, Lisa, you've got 50 years of experience in Tulsa. Everybody knows that there are already appliance stores in Oklahoma City. Why should people come to Han? Because of this. 30,000 square feet of showroom. That's two thirds the size of a football field. We're going to have a huge television department. Over here, we're going to have about 100 refrigerators. We're gonna have front load laundry, top load laundry, stack laundry, oh, a built-in department over here. We're gonna have dishwashers. And back here on the back, we're gonna have our high-end vignettes. We're gonna have Viking, Monogram, DCS, everything in beautiful cabinets. You can pretty much have everything, sounds like it. Well, like we said, Lee's going to have great advice for us over this next year, but the first thing we're gonna start with is measuring, because whether you're replacing an appliance or you're completely redoing your kitchen, the first step is always measuring, right? Absolutely. Let's say you need to replace your refrigerator. Uh -huh. The first question that anybody's gonna ask is, well, how big is the opening where the refrigerator is gonna go? Well, now I know the correct answer to this because I'm remodeling my kitchen right now, so I knew to measure, but the first time you asked me that, I said, I can touch the top of it. It goes to about right here. <laughs> and it's incredible. That's the way most people come in. Oh, well, it's standard, or it's about, it's about this tall. Now, refrigerators are getting bigger now. They're all different sizes, and it's absolutely imperative that you have the dimensions of the opening that you need to put the refrigerator in. So you need to measure. Let me show you. Okay. Because there's a trick to measuring. Not all walls are perfectly square and plumb, so you need to measure about six different spots. You need to measure at the bottom between the cabinets. You need to measure between the countertops because sometimes the countertops overlap and you don't right. realize it. And then up at the top. But sometimes the walls aren't plumb going back. So you need to step into the back of the opening and measure in those same three spots in the back. That way you know exactly what size opening that you have and we can make sure that the refrigerator is going to fit. We have a lot of people that are doing remodeling and they're going to replace a wall oven. Wall uh -huh. ovens can be a little tricky. You've got to make sure that you've got the right size wall oven for the opening that you've got. Now what's the biggest mistake here? Like we said with the refrigerator we say about this high. What do people do with this? A lot of times people will just measure the size of the door like here or they'll measure something inside. I mean, do you have to completely disconnect and pull it out, or how do you measure it properly? No, you do not have to take the oven out of the opening to give us measurements to work with. Okay. You can leave the oven in place, but you need to make sure you measure the full width and the full height, and that way we have an idea of what we can put back in the opening. So leave it in place, just measure the outside of the opening. All right, and next is? Dishwashers. Of course, everybody thinks that dishwashers are the same size. Not the case. <laughs> Absolutely not. Quite often, when people are doing a remodeling project, they'll put down new flooring. Right. And if you put down new tile or new wood, that's very thick. And if you don't raise the countertop, you've just made that opening smaller. So you need to definitely measure from the floor to the underside of the cabinet especially if you've ever put down new flooring. See, this is why we call him the appliance expert. Very, very important that you learn how to measure your appliances when you're picking them out. If you need some more instruction, you can always go to hauntappliancewarehouse.com. They have measuring diagrams there that show you how to measure any appliance, right? That's right. If you missed any part of today's segment, you can go to homescapesokc.com to watch it again. Stay tuned. We're going to see more homes right after this.